This year, for the first time in many, many decades, perhaps as many as 80 years, we've actually got a major chum salmon run that's come back into the system, and that has been so exciting to see. Still Creek is a wonderful little urban stream. It's part of the Fraser watershed. It runs through both the city of Vancouver and the city of Burnaby. And a few decades ago, Still Creek was widely known as perhaps the most polluted waterway in the entire lower mainland. It suffered extensively from problems relating to sewage and industrial pollution. But in recent decades, there's been a real effort to turn that around. And we've made some real headway in terms of improving water quality, enhancing in-stream and, uh, and beside stream habitat. We've seen some improvements farther down river in terms of fish passage. So slowly but surely, this stream has been coming back to life, which has been wonderful to see. And this year, all of that has culminated in the fact that for the first time in many decades, maybe as long as 80 years, we've seen our first major chum salmon run return to Still Creek, uh, uh, which I think is wonderful news. It's amazing to see the fish in this system. We're right in the midst of an urban environment. And sometimes people tend to discount streams like this that run through the city and they don't realize the incredible values that they can and do have. Uh, and I know I've been on this creek in recent days and I've been with children that have seen spawning salmon for the very first time and, uh, and they were pretty excited. Do you know why they come up here? How come? No, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering. Go out to later eggs. Oh. I wanted him to see them in the wild. I used to live in Victoria and we go to Goldstream, but we don't really have a Goldstream here. It's just beautiful to see them in real life like that. I've never seen a, a salmon in real life myself and to see it uh, in an area like this is pretty cool. Uh, look at them, they're big fish. Um, it's amazing. It, I'm just thinking about how amazing it is that they're this, uh, this resilient because we're not, we haven't been doing them any favors, even as hard as the small group of people have been working. There's so much going against it and yet it's still, they're still fighting back. I could start crying. <laughs> This really is a salmon miracle in the city. To see this unfolding in this big urban environment in this industrial part of the city is so unique and so special. And to see the emotional response of people who live here, both young and old, uh, that's really been wonderful to see. This stream was so abused in past that you can't really turn that around overnight. So it really has taken years, decades, uh, to bring this stream back to life. And something like this can only really be done uh, by way of a partnership. You know, there's been a great effort on the part of the city of Burnaby, the city of Vancouver, Metro Vancouver, educational institutions such as BCIT, its Fish and Wildlife Program, and its Rivers Institute. There's been streamkeeper groups in both Burnaby and Vancouver. Uh, so all of that has been great to see. I think it's been a very effective partnership, and, and we're certainly thankful for the commitment that all of those groups have made. And knowing how bad a shape this creek was in in years past, if we can turn things around here, uh, then potentially we can turn things around anywhere. <laughs>